This is Brendan, and this is a video dream log that I'm creating right now. And my intention behind creating this is for myself as a dreamer to be able to help be able to get back into more of my dream practice. That is a part of my intention to be able to delve deeper into my recall, into my experiences, to be able to help bring forth any messages from the dream space, to perhaps be able to share with the community or just messages for my own soul that I want to be able to be open to receive. And of course, this message is for you too, to be able to, by making this, encourage more of us to be able to pay more attention to our dreams, our dream practices, our lucid dreaming. So getting right into the story about this, what I experienced last night in my dream really stood out to me. And I even had the intention going into my dreams. I'm like, okay, like, you know, I've been, I've been really, really busy lately. And I've been like having my focus all over the place, managing things, being an entrepreneur. But I know like, I want to be able to focus on my dream. So I went into the dream space with this intention. And what happened is that the majority of the dream was kind of like very dreamy in the sense that like, um, my recall isn't fully, fully there. I'll be honest with that. But there's one particular moment that stood out to me and it was so vivid. And basically in this moment, there was a tesseract that appeared in my hand and it was like a golden black tesseract. And for those of you who aren't familiar, the tesseract is like the cube within a cube within a cube. It's like a, it's like a tool that represents like hyperspace. And so what I experienced is that like this appeared in my hand. I don't know. I don't know, like someone gave it to me. It just kind of appeared there and it was like black and gold. It was kind of like this cube. It was like a black cube, but with like gold on the inside and it was moving and it was breathing. And I remember in this moment, like my entire awareness of the dream shifted. Like it was basically like borderline almost lucid. I was like, whoa, this is important. Something's happening right now. This is important. And I could feel myself like, I'm like, okay, if I like drop into the right mindset, if I like kind of like, get into that right frequency, I felt as if I would be able to like travel through the Tesseract, like as if my consciousness was going to be able to kind of like move through it. And this Tesseract was like breathing. It was moving. It was kind of like folding in and out of itself. It was pulsating. And again, it was like this like ancient relic that I was holding. And again, it was like this super black, black and this very vibrant gold and it kind of like pulsating like like internal organs to it and stuff and so this moment in the state of the dream only lasted for what felt like 30 seconds maybe give or take and i could feel myself i'm like i'm like okay like don't don't freak out like don't 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 think too hard about this like relax like, relax that's the key and that's you know that's what happens like usually within our dreams we'll like see we'll be in the state of awe of something we'll be in the presence of awe and we'll be like oh my god this is amazing oh my god and then we like wake ourselves up right so what i did here is just kind of like okay like calm focus and i could feel myself i'm like okay if i can get in that state i feel like i can like move my consciousness through this and i was like present with it and i was breathing and i was feeling it but evidently I didn't, I didn't like go through it and I could just, and I was just like holding it. And then the moment just kind of passed. It just kind of like moved on to the next thing. But I was just like, that moment in itself stood out to me. Cause I was just like such a vivid part of it. It was so visceral. And I was like, yes, like this is, this is familiar for me. Cause I've had a lot of that. I've had a lot of those like visceral experiences, very multidimensional experiences within dreams. And again, me creating this video, that's essentially the story right there is to just be like, <laughs> dear internet, I, I held some crazy tesseract in the dream. What does it mean? Um, but again, I see this as kind of the fact that I didn't go through is kind of like, okay, like there's still more work to be done. Like it is something that must be earned in that sense. And I feel like that's the case with dreams is that we will receive things when we are ready for them. And so Again, as a shifter, as a person who's dedicated to my own self-mastery and my own leveling up as a multidimensional being, getting more engaged with the dream space and encouraging others to do that is very, 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 very important for me. So I'm making this video to kind of like hold myself accountable because I want to be able to get into the habit of making more of these videos. And absolutely, please, you guys let me know if, if you enjoy me making a short little video about this, about my dream journal log. Uh, please feel free to leave a comment. I've made plenty of these in the past and the idea of getting back into it is actually very exciting. And if you're someone who's like looking to be in the company of other people who are focused on like their dream recall and the dream practice, uh, send me a DM because like that's a big part of what like the Shifter Academy is about, the exclusive team chat that we got going on. So uh, just message me and, and I'll get you synced up with that. So yeah.
stay tuned. I'll share some more updates as they unfold. And yeah, here's a cheers to waking up within the dream. Thanks for watching. And again, please feel free to just leave any comments. Have you had, have you had any dreams with any golden tesseracts in them? I'm asking you, please let me know. What does it mean? And again, I think this means is that like, there are tools and, and, and relics within the dream space that we can use to like be able to like traverse it. <sighs> Jeez, save that for another video. Anyways, that's enough for now. Thanks for watching. Much love.